I'm Melissa Chavez, and I'm here at Open Source Bridge 2011. And I, today I'm speaking with Chris Strahl with Acquia. And uh, first question is, um, what are you speaking about at the conference this year? Well, um, I have two sessions this year. The first one is an open source communities panel where uh, a bunch of different community leaders from uh, Debian, the Apache Software Foundation, WordPress, and Drupal um, are talking about their contributions to communities and how to build communities. Um, I represented the Drupal side of all of that. And then the other session that I'm doing is uh, how open source communities are being built in government. So uh, I work with a major government client um, that's a division of the Department of Defense um, building social networks for um, uh, security professionals internationally. Uh, and how did you get involved with the open source community? Um, well, I actually came out of the proprietary enterprise world. I worked for General Electric right after I finished my master's. And then I went over to SAP not that long after that. Um, and kind of always missed the, the startup culture. And so I ended up starting my own company, um, doing a lot of different SAP type stuff. And uh, through a roundabout way, I ended up running into Drupal. Um, and I'd always been a fan of open source in my personal life prior to that. But um, running into Drupal as a, a viable alternative to SAP's e-commerce system uh, is really kind of what led me into that. And then getting involved with the community was really the, the function of a couple of very key individuals that I now work with um, that uh, uh, were kind enough to involve me in the Drupal.org redesign. Um, and how have um, you talked about being a community manager? Uh, how have you gotten people to um, get more involved with some of the work that you've been doing? Um, really, operating in a community is interesting because it's based in volunteers. Um, I was lucky enough to get the Drupal Association to fund some of the work for the Drupal.org redesign. So um, some of the work that I've done has been actually paid engagements with, with different people in the community. Um, but in terms of, of recruiting people for the volunteer side, um, we use a combination of tools. Uh, we, we talk to people personally. You have a lot of personal connections with folks. Um, you tweet about it, you blog about it, you write about it, you use social media to try to engage um, different folks that might be interested in, in contributing. Um, and honestly, like open source is, is very easy to be passionate about once you're into the weeds. You know, um, Lots of people, especially in the Drupal community, are, are very passionate about Drupal and, and are always eager to be involved. Um, when you try to recruit volunteers, does it go from anywhere from developers to people who are just trying to um, promote Drupal, or can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you're always looking for evangelists. I think that that's um, an important part, and especially where Drupal's at in the open source world. We're really trying to build a lot of name recognition outside of our core community. Um, but I think in terms of most of the open source projects, the, the volunteer makeup is, is usually mostly developers, um, because you know people need to write the code. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a couple of people that are project managers and, and related uh, project folks that are really focused on um, how, do we, how do we build processes around what we do that make sense and are rational and that aren't going to shock our community, um, but are still you know, valid and, and easy to follow and have a, a true benefit. Um, we also have a plethora of designers, UX people, content people, QA people that do a variety of things from writing code to actually doing like visual design work for, um, for a lot of our community projects. And um, what else are you passionate about? Um, well, I do a lot of, of outdoors things, and uh, I love the Northwest. Um, most of the people at Acquia, if you talk to them, would, would say that Chris is really passionate about where he lives. Um, I love living here in Portland. I think that this is really my home. and. Uh, moreover, it's a great place to work in open source because the community here is so vibrant. You're able to have conferences like Open Source Bridge and OSCON and uh, Web Visions and all those other great tech conferences that really bring a lot of talent to this area and showcase our capabilities. Um, just even within Drupal here, um, our local meetup is one of the largest in the country. We have a huge presence of, of incredibly talented people and incredibly active people in the community. And, it makes it a place that I really love to work and live and stay. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.